Circular arcs, swinging motion. A pendulum is the classic example for a swinging object. It can be as simple as a weight swinging from a pivot. A more complicated example would be a limb, such as a leg, swinging from a joint. Here's an example of the swinging motion of a pendulum from a pencil test. Let's start with the timing and spacing for swinging motion. A pendulum slows in and out as it swings back and forth, much like a ball rolling in a half pipe. Most of the texture in the timing is at the apexes. The spacings are almost constant around the center. It's true that there are some similarities between swinging motion and bouncing motion. However, bouncing motion has more texture. Looking at the motion curve for swinging motion confirms that the timing and spacing has the most texture at the apexes. For example, the pendulum moves fastest around the bottom, but the speed there is almost constant. Remember, the steeper the motion curve, the faster the motion. However, the texture depends on the curviness of the curve. Now, visually, the timing and spacing has a different texture when the swinging motion is viewed in perspective. The motion curve doesn't change when we move the camera, but visually, the texture changes. Let's watch an example of swinging motion in perspective. Swinging motion is an example of cyclic motion, that is, motion that occurs in a cycle. The time required for one full cycle, that is, for one round trip, is called the period of the cycle. We usually measure the period in seconds or in frames. The period of a swinging pendulum depends only on its length. The greater the length, the longer the period. For example, if the period of the one-foot pendulum is 10 frames, then the period of the four-foot pendulum is 20 frames. It's not obvious, but this is another example of the fourth down at halftime rule. Watch as I swing a short pendulum and a long pendulum side by side. Clearly, the short pendulum takes less time to swing back and forth compared with the long pendulum. This effect is noticeable in the walking gait, that is, in the timing of walking. Our legs tend to swing with the timing of a pendulum as we walk. Because of this, short-legged characters have a quicker gait than long-legged ones. This timing also affects the poses when running. In running, you naturally bend your leg and raise your foot. This allows for a quicker gait by effectively shortening the length of your leg. In swinging motion, the distance from the apex to the center is called the amplitude. Surprisingly, the period of the swinging motion does not depend on the amplitude. It's true that the speed of the swinging motion increases with amplitude, but so does the distance for each swing. The result is that the period is the same for small and large amplitudes. Now let's watch some video reference for swinging motion, starting with the swinging motion of with a small amplitude. Listen to the timing. Beep! 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 Beep, beep, beep. Now let's watch the same pendulum swinging with a large amplitude. Beep, 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 beep. beep. 
Notice that the timing is the same in the two cases. Finally, the swinging motion of a flexible pendulum, like a heavy rope or long hair, has almost the same timing as a rigid pendulum. The shape of a flexible pendulum is curved due to an effect known as drag in animation. But this has little effect on the overall timing. We'll look at drag in more detail in another video. In summary, timing and spacing for swinging motion slows in and out of the apexes, similar to bouncing. Swinging motion is nearly uniform, that is constant spacings, through the center of the swing. Texture of the timing and spacing is enhanced when the swinging motion is viewed in perspective. The period of a swinging pendulum varies with the length. The longer the pendulum, the greater the time it takes to complete each swing. When the swinging amplitude is large, then the speed is fast, but the period of the swinging motion is unchanged. Now, swinging motion is very common and very easy to study in real life. So uh, turn off your computer and go find a playground with a swing set. Have fun.